Hi friends and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you a simple soup you can make with butternut squash. It's dead simple and uses a few other ingredients you can grow in your garden. For this recipe you'll need one large onion or some shallots, a couple of cloves of garlic, a couple of large carrots, a little honey and one butternut squash plus a little salt and pepper. Step one is to chop up all the ingredients and bake them in the oven. First though, turn on the oven to a mid to high heat. Next, grab yourself a large baking tin. We bake all the ingredients together before blending because it brings out all the flavours and generally makes the soup tastier and much more interesting. It also softens everything up which makes blending easier. Chop up a large onion or a handful of shallots. These can be added to the baking tin. Everything can be roughly chopped and you don't need to spend a lot of time on this. Add a couple of garlic cloves too. With these, cut off the ends, squash it with your knife, take off the loose skin and throw it in whole. Grab a couple of large carrots. Homegrown ones would be perfect in this recipe as they'll add plenty of sweetness. Don't bother peeling them, just take off the ends and roughly chop them up. Now let's take a look at the squash. Chop off the ends and then half it like so. The easiest way I've found to remove the innards is to use an ice cream scoop. So scoop that out and then gently cut off the skin from the squash. Cut this into large chunks and add it to the tin. Add a little olive oil or some butter to stop this sticking to the tin and then a good sprinkle of salt and pepper. Grab a fork and use it to drizzle over some honey as this will add a little sweetness. and then give the whole mixture a shake and pop it in the oven for around 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, that's now had a good half an hour and as you can see, the ingredients have baked and started to brown. Now there are two main ways to blend this mixture into a soup. If you're using a hand blender, Fill and turn on the kettle and grab a mixing bowl. Put the baked ingredients into the bowl, adding about 500 millilitres of boiling water, some vegetable stock and blend it until it's smooth. The second route is to use a soup maker which does the boiling and the blending for you, but the rest is the same. Add all the ingredients and keep all of this juice too, there's a lot of goodness in there. Add your vegetable stock and cold water up to the line on your machine. Plug it in and set it to smooth mode. I'll be back in around 19 minutes. Alright, that should now be done. There we go. This soup freezes really well too and you could either use these washable soup bags or save any plastic takeaway tubs as these stack really well in the freezer. But this portion is coming upstairs with me now and will warm me up while I edit this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. 
If you have any ideas or suggestions for what to use your homegrown butternut squash for, please add them to the comments so we can all learn and grow together. Thank you to those who have subscribed recently. I've now hit 150 subscribers, which is really exciting, and I hope my videos in the future will keep you coming back. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider it, as it really does help me make the best quality videos that I can. And here are a couple of other videos, including the How to Grow Squash video, which you may be interested in. Thank you and happy growing!